Hey everybody, today's project is uh, working on this deck lid. It's kind of a follow up to the work I did, goodness, over a year ago, um, where I redid this whole panel. Uh, if you'll remember in my last uh, episode out of things, the but butyl caulk uh, strip uh, had relaxed a little bit and I lost a little tension on the bolts. And after a couple of weeks, two, three weeks or so, I had to come back and retorque the bolts. But at the time, I didn't um, have time to take the struts off and so forth. I just left it alone and I was about a millimeter or two long. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to, I'm just gonna, going to take the struts loose, uh, struts off, uh, put my jack underneath here with the pillow again, and I'm going to take this panel off and I'm just going to loosen those bolts and see if I can relax it back um, you know that millimeter or two and, and I'm being extra picky but line it up just a little bit um, and then I have a new gasket for the uh, deck lid uh, that goes all the way the weather strip that goes all the way around the glass and, and the hatch but I haven't I haven't wanted to put that on until I did this because I'm going to end up putting a, a brace in here for a few minutes. After I finish this adjustment, I intend to work on the weather stripping. in there pretty good, which is how it's supposed to be. So I've got a board there that'll fit when I need it. millimeter out here and see if we can undo this strut bolt. I don't know whether this will be a success or not. It just seemed that perhaps if I take the struts off and loosen the bolts that there may be some tension. All of this stuff like the silicone uh, adhesives had all cured so they're they probably got some stress and some spring in them, and maybe I can get a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that back. And if I don't, I don't. You know, it's not bad being out a millimeter, but um, yeah, it's an experiment. Now, I have to be careful. I unbolted that, but I didn't remove it. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna unbolt it, but it's still sitting on the sitting on the stud. those guys there and then I'll lift it there's one there's two now you know really you got to be careful again because in some ways you ought to have two people and if you drop this thing and break it, you know the glass is going to break and it'll be one hell of a mess so so I got a good stout hunk of wood here and I'm going to go in here and unbolt these uh, struts from the other end too uh, just so that um, right now they stick out over the uh, over the back of the weather strip so if I can take these out and just set them aside for a few minutes then and I can drop the bolt down under the seat. There it is. Didn't go too far. You know, when you work on these, it's kind of a continuing project, and you know, it's hard to believe that 
you know, I did this over, well, I don't remember the exact date, but I did it, you know, well over a year ago. And as time permits, you keep working on the next project, and it takes a while to come back. Last summer's project was painting the nose and painting the rear bumper. And now I went, ah, gee, that ought to take me, you know, a couple of weeks. And heck, it took me a couple of months by the time I got it down and prepped and had everything done that I wanted to have done to make sure that it was right. It took a lot longer, so I may as well set my little jack in place here. Even though I'm not quite ready for it, I'll put that in place. Put my 2x6 across. pillow up here. Put the board down and out of the way so I don't catch it. So I'm being probably too fussy, but it's just a millimeter or two. So, see if I put a straight edge on it, it really isn't much. Again, it's about a millimeter or so. I had to adjust my jack so that it would settle down here a little bit all the way. So now I'm going to lift it up and then just loosen the bolts and let it set for a bit. glass is held up on the jack on the pillow um, these should be there shouldn't be any load on them the struts are off so I'm going to back these guys off these are just the nuts on the reinforcing plate relax a little bit there's still some gap there but now that things are loosened a little bit I'm just gonna let this sit for a while and uh, and we'll be back okay I've let it sit a couple hours and use my straight edge off my paint stick here and it's pretty darn close over here I'm down to about Oh goodness, it's almost flush. There's maybe a quarter of a millimeter. It's very small. That one looks pretty good. And this side's probably a half a millimeter. And these things have a little bit of a curve, so it's hard to be perfect. But I definitely picked up some. And, I mean, body tolerances on these cars aren't that close. Um, but I did have it flush when I started, so that's what I would kind of like to end up with. And it seems as though you want to, you know, I don't want to break the seals um, loose and, and, and cause a leak, so I don't want to go too far. It was more just my belief was that because the it's set up and then over the first couple of weeks the screws were, weren't as tight as they should, that this creep crept backward a millimeter or two and put a little stress on it on the sealer. So I basically just want to let the stress come off and I mean I could almost put I, can, I maybe could push on it just a hair and make it completely flush. But this is really pretty doggone good and it it, uh, it got me what I wanted. So I'm going to 
raise this up. The last time I did this I used a fish scale to, to do the torque because I didn't have the right torque wrench. I had torque wrenches that were smaller and I had torque wrenches that were bigger. Um, but this is kind of like in the middle so I have a nice uh, brand new uh, Master Force Menards uh, branded um, click stop torque wrench in uh, inch pounds and I'm going to use that to tighten up my bolts and 11 foot pounds would be um, 11 foot pounds would be 132 inch pounds we'll dial that up the so I'm going to get up underneath here what's it two four six eight bolts eight nuts and the instructions are to tighten forward center first, then the rear, and then the outer ones. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to put just a little pressure on this just to hold it to the back end while I tighten the first one. And I didn't go all the way yet. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Let's just push a little bit while I snug that down. And then I'm going to double check it, see if uh, see if it's where I want it. How'd I do? Yeah, about the same. About, well, I'm touching here and I'm touching here, so I'm happy with that. That's good. I mean, it's going to drop down just a little further when it gets... Well, that's just about ideal. I mean, it's not latched right now, so that's about as lined up as you're going to get. On this side... About the same, like very, yeah, good. are all on. Looks good. All right, well now I'm going to just kind of like triple check this guy and make sure that it settles down where it wants to be, where, it, where I want it to be. It's kind of always better to be sure before you start bolting everything back together. And I know the latch isn't latching yet, but I'm, I'm right on it, so how am I doing here? Ooh, spot on. Good, 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 good. Same thing here, spot on. And if you push it down just a little further onto the weather strip, looking good. time we'll put the struts back on and button all this up so let's get these struts reinstalled and there's a we'll put the trim piece back on first snap that dude in snap that 
trim in there. And these bolts are supposed to be 15 to 20 foot-pounds. Um, I've got them torqued up. They're probably close. I'll have to get my torque wrench and uh, finish them off. And then, when I'm done, unfortunately these caps kind of got um, broken. The tab, Some of the tabs broke and I've, they've been band-aided. So I bought a set of reproductions for it. And uh, when I'm done I can trim that out too. We'll reconnect the wire and get the struts on here. I guess I'll have to lift this just a little bit. It still sits on my board. Makes me a little nervous. This is just, you know, using a prop is kind of precarious, so you want to. Be very careful. On the other part of the defogger grid. One of the reasons I went through this whole process is because this lid had crept a little bit, the, um, the silicone here, it, it was kind of stretched out and it looked like it was under stress. So my thought was by do, going through this and retorquing everything, letting it equalize out, would take some of the stress off of this um, piece for the long haul. And uh, it looks pretty nice right now. So it was, like I say, kind of, these beads were kind of being stretched. And then I'll need to come back and, and tighten these to uh, Supposed to be 40 to 60 new, uh, inch pound. There we go, that one's on. Okay. Well, I said 40 to 60, so I got my new little wrench here. Um, it starts at 50, so let's, um, let's dial them in at 50. There it goes. Oh, I already had that one pretty close, so it was just about there. My board out of the way, now it's back on the struts. In where it belongs. It kind of hooks over the edge of the glass back there, or not the edge of the glass, the edge of uh, the edge of the bracket, I guess you call it. Okay. All right, looking pretty good. Looks like it maybe picked up a half a millimeter from the load of the struts, but I think we're good. All right, well that's all for this project for now. Then uh, later I can 
I can move on to working on the weather strip.